everybody. I am going to be doing my nails again, obviously. I'm here, right? <laughs> um, I feel like this is really loud. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Um, I have a thunderstorm background going on tonight. I love me a thunderstorm. It's good. Um, so I did most of my nails already because what I'm going to be doing is going to probably take a while and I didn't want the video to be super, super long. So um, what I have going on here is a mixed mani from um, Alex. Um, it has in it in Cocoa Plant Mom, which I think is this strip that I have on my pointer finger here. And then also this pink strip here. Um, it also has Holy Tealito, Fashion Prager, and then Party Envy, which I have on my middle and pinky fingers. I got Fashion Prager on the thumbs as well. Um, and then what I did, because I wanted everything to have glitter, because you know how I feel about my glitter. Love my glitter. So I put um, First Edition over everything because um, all of the strips, except for these, these ones had sparkle in them already. Party Envy is one of the um, anniversary sets. And so this already was a glitter dip, didn't need to put anything over that. Um, but all of the other strips were creams and I wanted glitter on them. So I put first edition, this is the sparkly set from this month's um, subscription box. I put that on top of everything. So all of my strips here have it over it already. And then I have one strip of it out by itself that I'm gonna be using as a base for my design. So I am gonna be doing a braid on my ring fingers. Um, I have not done many braids and I haven't done one in a really long time. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I actually posted um, a couple of different mixes in um, Sassy Crew and asked for you for help picking like which set to do. And I decided that I'm going to do all four sets that I had posted. Um, and I'm going to do a braid with each one. So I'll practice with them and kind of perfect my my braiding technique. So the next four manis are all going to be ones with braids. Or I might do like um, a tile like nail. You know, the ones where you kind of just like cut the pieces out at random and put them on there. So it looks kind of like tile. I may do that with one of the sets too. So. We'll see how it goes but at any rate I'm just using this like as a base strip because I already has it had it out I could have used clear as day I could have used one of another one of these strips as a base could have used um Swiss and tell midnight in Manhattan really anything um it's just something to put the strips down on um and also have like a little bit of something here in case the strips don't cover completely to the cuticle line of the strip. So um, I'm just basically using it as a base. You're probably not going to see any of this. Um, so then I'm going to take my three different color strips and I'm going to cut them into um, lines. I'm going to cut them into little strips. And to do that, I'm going to use my cutter, my um, punch out, because this makes nice even lines. When I cut them with a scissor freehand, I don't always make great lo even lines and I want them to be like evenly, the width of all of them to be the same. I think that will look best. I've done it before cutting them and get end up with different widths and I feel like it doesn't look right when you do that. So we're gonna use our punch out for this. Um, so. Obviously, first thing we're gonna do is always take the plastic off because if you punch out these strips before taking your plastic off, it's gonna be super hard to get the plastic off. So we don't wanna do that. So then we're gonna, I took the plastic off. Now we're gonna take this and I'm going to put it in my puncher here. And I like to use this longer line here versus the short line. Although for the braid, I mean really, the short line is going to be more than enough to go all the way across the strip. So we might want to use the short one just to, but you can take pieces of the strip and 
use it um, in more than one spot too. So maybe we'll just cut them out using both of these here. So I'm going to try and get as many as I can out of each strip here. So we've got, I'm going to just kind of put them in a pile and then we'll start doing the braid a bit. Um, all right, I'm going to turn it this way. It's a little hard to punch because I do have two layers here already. Um, it's hard enough to punch one layer, but doing two is definitely a little difficult, um, but it'll be fine. You have to push a little bit harder when you're doing that. So, all right, we've got those. I hope I have enough to do this. Um, I'm nervous that I'm not going to. But what we'll do is I'm going to also take and I'll kind of cut off this bit here. So there's one more. And then we'll probably also use this bit here. Because that's about the right width as well. So that it matches. So we've got quite a few of the pink there. Now we'll go on to purple. So I'm just going to cut all of these. I'm not going to sit here and yap about it the whole time that I'm doing it. You can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to cut all of these out. Ah, they're flying at me. if I can get two more out of this, hopefully. Mm, I don't think so. Sugar. All right, let's try doing at least one long one. Because we can, one long one is enough to make like two pieces of the braid. So let's get another long one out. Come on, little guy. There you go. is the same kind of thing I just did with the other strip. I'm going to cut these ends off. You get back over here with the rest of them. Um, and then I've got, I'm going to use these two. Even though that one looks a little thin, we're going to still use them. And then this one off too. So we have like, we've got a few of these as well. Hopefully it's enough. It's been a really long time since I've done this, so I hope I can get it done the right way. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I'm definitely, I'm going to, I'm building it off of my nail because I think that's the easiest way to do it. I mean, you can do it on your nail, but for me, I just feel like the easiest way to do it is to actually build it um, on the strip and then put it on your nail. All right. So let's get a few of these green ones. I love Holy Toledo. It's such a pretty color. And this glitter strip over top of it is amazeballs. I love it. Woo! I'm flying at me again. And I think this is going to add a good contrast because these two are pretty similar colors. I mean, and so I think having this in there is going to like kind of take it up a notch, give it a good contrast to those other two colors. Those. 
And then, let's see, can I cut a couple extra out of this? I think I can. So obviously doing this using full sets versus a mixed mani that has a limited number of strips in it would probably be easier, but I wanted to use my mixed manis because I liked the idea of having, you know, the art stuff in there with it and the different strips, not just having like, you know, like these three colors on my nails, having these extra, like, you know, fun bits. So I'm hoping this is gonna work. We'll see how it goes, right? All right, let's see, do we wanna start Let's start with the pink. So what we do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it across at an angle on our nail here. Okay, so you could leave this part till the end, but I want to use, like I said, I'm hoping to use these extra bits that are coming off the edge. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to use that in another part. So I'm going to, like as I'm going, I'm going to cut these off, but you could leave it like all kind of a mess around the edges until you were done and then cut it off and that would work too. All right, and then I wanna do Teolito. So we're gonna do the same thing. We'll take it off of our backing here, except this one is going to go the opposite direction. So we're gonna put it from here across. And then I'm gonna, that was a bit of a deeper angle than the pink one is. Let me see if I can fix that. That's about as good as it's gonna get. Okay. And then I'm gonna nip this off on the side so I can hopefully use it again. This is gonna be an extra thick braid because I put the, um, glitter overlay on top of all of these strips. So these strips are already two layers and then we're doing a braid too. So, all right. And then once you have that down, then you're going to do the next, so the third color and we're going to I've got like sticky stuff on my tweezers. What's that? Everything's sticking to it when I put them down. All right, so then we're gonna take the third color here, and this one is gonna go, let me see, I think I'm gonna turn this back around this way. Parallel, you know, right along next to the first strip. So we'll take it and you put it down like this, and you want it to run across next to the first strip that you put down. So if you haven't done a braid before, hopefully now you can see why I felt like it would be easier to do off the nail, right? Like it's kind of You know, I like doing a French braid. It's not exactly an easy thing to do. So, all right, you get, get down, get down. There you go. All right, now let's see. Is this piece long enough to do my next one? Mm, I don't think so. All right. <gasps> no, don't stick. Okay, you go over here for a little bit. We're gonna use a different strip next. All right, so now we're gonna take the pink one, 
again and it's going to go across and again right next to the um, kind of the strip before it. So it's going to go and run right along next to Tealito there. I don't know that I'm doing this exactly right, but because um, some of my angles are off. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, now we're going to trim that. I'm going to put that little guy down over here. All right, and then we're going to do a strip of Tealito again. just want to see if I can use this. Yeah, I think it's long enough. All right. Except it's got a little, a little bit I want to cut right here. There we go. So we're going to run this one along next to the purple. And then we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna keep going like that. Okay, so I did teal, so now I need purple again. All right, so we're gonna do see the pink strip because it's such a pale pink it almost is white and blending in but we'll see once we put it on the nail it might look different I'm gonna see how far up do I need to go on this because um, about right here should be enough and then I'll go and do the other side I'm going to put a little, like, there so I know that I can kind of stop once I get to that part there. All right, because we don't really need to cover this whole strip because my nails are very short. So, like, you know, a big section of the middle of it is not even going to be used. So I don't want to waste time on something that's not even going to be showing, right? Um, all right, so I did teal. Wait a minute. Okay, so pink, teal, purple. Pink, teal, purple. Okay, so I want to go back to pink. <laughs> also, by the way, just, you know, FYI, um, it's like um, 11, 12 o'clock at night. So I'm a little tired too and a little silly at this point. So this may be a slap happy kind of video. We'll see. Especially since I'm trying to do something so intricate at this point in the day. I worked like all day and then put the kids to bed because I did not want to do it while they were awake. Because y'all know, my kiddos are usually in the background making all sorts of noise when I'm trying to do videos. So I didn't, wanna, I didn't want that going on while I was trying to do this. So I waited till I put them to bed. And so it's kind of late. I'm a little tired. Um, 
you know, we'll see how it goes. We shall see how silly Heather gets at this point. Let's see, is that long enough? Yes, it is. All right. It's starting to look better. The more bits that I add, it's, it's getting there. It's starting to look more braid-like. So that is also good. Probably we'll do one more like round of them, I guess is the word. Um, and then we'll switch over to the other side. All right, am I doing this right? Yeah, pink, teal, now purple. Yeah. I probably should have put them in the order that I put them down, but you know, whatever. That would make sense. What fun is that? No fun. That's what it is. I'm telling you. Nope, 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 nope. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way, Heather. Okay. All right. That is actually probably good enough, but... I want it to be enough. So I'm going to do one more set of each color here. Um, so we've got a pink right here. Let's do this one. I hope I have enough to do the other side. Because if I don't, I don't know what I'm going to put on my other nail. <laughs> no plan for if we run out of strip. Um, so it might be a make it work kind of moment. Let's see. That might actually be enough. It's super hard to tell. No, I do need to go the rest of the colors, I think. All right. So then let's do a teal again. Nope. Other way. Other way, Heather. I would think at this point you guys would remind me that I'm about to put the strip down the wrong way. I mean, really, help a girl out here. <laughs> All right, um, and then here is our last purple, I think, on this side, and then we'll go to the other side here. And the other side I don't even need anywhere near as long because that nail is much shorter. So it should be not too bad. We shouldn't need too much, hopefully. Okay. So what do we think so far? I think it looks cool. It needs some smushing for sure. Like I need to really push it on there and we'll get the we'll get the musher out when we're done and really push everything down in there good but I think it's cute all right I definitely need some work on my my braiding but you know it's okay all right so I started did I start with pink or did I start with teal I don't remember. I think I started with pink. So let's... Yeah, I did. Alright, let's do that. Is 
gonna try and use some of these little extra bits that I have here um, so that I don't run out of strips. Especially in the bottom layers here where it's gonna get covered up more. So I can kinda put them together without it being as obvious if I do it in the, you know, more towards the bottom. All right. And then we need teal again. I hope you guys are loving this thunder background as much as I am. I love a good storm, let me tell you. I'm the, I'm the goofball that will go and sit on my porch and watch thunderstorms all the time. Because um, I just love it. I used to live in an apartment where I had a really, like the porch was really wide. So you had a lot of, I was on the first floor, so I had a lot of um, coverage from, you know, the upper floors of the porch. So I could go out and watch the rainstorms and stuff and absolutely not get any rain on me because there was so much coverage. It was, you know, like it was easy to not get rained on. Um, and I loved it. I would get up in the middle of the night and go out there on the porch and watch a storm because it's just, I don't know, they're pretty, I think. I know it's a lot of people get like super scared by storms and stuff, but I, I mean, obviously if it's getting like tornado-y, <laughs> I'm not going to be wanting to sit outside, but, um, you know, if it's just a good old thunder boomer storm, yeah. I am out there watching it and I love it. Love it. I will absolutely get up in the middle of the night to go sit and watch a storm. So. It's just one of my many quirks. <laughs> but I know that one is one that a lot of people have. They, lots of people like to watch storms, I think, like I do. So, I know I'm not the only one, but it's definitely, I know it's a quirk. Come on. All right. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, now that we're almost done with it. <clears throat> Um, like I said, though, it's been a really long time since I tried to do a braid. And I think the last time that I did, I did it on my nail. So, like, it was so much harder. This is definitely a vastly easier way to do it because... You can pick up the strip and move it around so that it's at an angle where you can see the best what you're doing and everything. So it just makes it a lot easier than trying to actually build it on your finger. God, I love Tealito. It's such a pretty color. Like... If you've never worn Holy Toledo, go on D Stash, find yourself a set of it, try it out. It's so good. So good, man. Such a good, like, greeny blue color. Love it. And it was the perfect, perfect green to go with this mix. Like Alex did such a good job picking out the greens that she put in here with it because it really goes well with the little leaves 
And then this color, obviously, too, it goes really well with. So, like, it was the, like, perfect green to go with this. Um, she always does a good job picking out colors, though. I feel like her mixes, I, I don't really have to worry about, um like do the colors go together like they always go really well together hence why i have so many i'm like an addict i have so many <laughs> so many mixes that's what i'm actually trying to use them up right now too so that's another reason why i'm doing um the braid with a mix rather than full sets because i'm i'm trying to use up some of my mixes because I've just got so many I don't want them to like sit and go to waste you know so I'm trying to use them up and I think this was a really good way to do bra a braid because like I said I don't have to think about do the colors actually go together because she always picks colors that go well so you know, I knew that they would be good together in the braid. This is just like, just so slightly off. A little tiny bit from on this side here. I'm like trying to get it to move. There we go. All right. Crap, what did I just do with the pink strip that I... Crap on a cracker. What did I do with it? Oh, it's on my... Duh. It's on my tweezers. <clears throat> you guys must sit and, like, laugh your heinies off at me while I'm doing this stuff sometimes because I get a little whacked out. All right, let's see. I think I've got, let's see, what do we have left? Yeah, let me do the one more strip of teal here and I think, I think that's it and we're gonna put it on our finger. Let me tell y'all, a good thing that I did most of this beforehand because we're already at 32 minutes. So if I had done all of this on camera, it would have been like a two hour video. <laughs> so it's a good thing I did it off camera first. All right, let's see here. together here and I was thinking about putting another another glitter strip over top of it just to like seal them all in I did already seal this up but I can open it back up and put let's put it down on the finger first and see See if it feels like it needs it, you know? I'm gonna do that first. So with doing this on a clear strip versus the one of the colored strips, I do have like at the base, I'm gonna have a little bit of nail uncovered. So if you don't like that, you would wanna do it on one of the like colored strips. So like 
I probably would have used the pink one because it's a very neutral. Use that as the base strip and then build on it from there. Then you would have pink in this part that's going to be clear on my finger. But I actually was kind of wanting some negative space down there because I think it'll look good that way. But um, if you don't like that, then you want to just, you know, kind of think about that part that you're going to have some space at the bottom. I'm trying to remember. Yes, this is the side that I was using for this nail. Okay. Good, I like it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's trim this little guy here. Okay. I'm gonna do some more trimming in a second. I just want to put this down on my other finger first here. I'm so happy with this, like way happier than I thought I was going to be. Can I just say that? Let's get this cleaned up so it actually looks as good as it is looking in my, my brain right now. Because this, like, these extra bits that are over the edge are making it look not good. But I can see, I can see it's going to look like amaze balls when it's all cleaned up and cured up it's gonna be like so good so good <clears throat> oh <laughs> oh gosh okay maybe my new favorite thing we might do more than four um it's been a long like i said it's been a very long time since i did a braid i forgot how good they can be Gee, I'm so freaking happy with this. Oh my freaking goodness. Okay. Let's let's do a little more smushing here. Get this smoothed out. so good. I don't know if it looks as good on camera as it is in person right now, but oh, I'm very happy with this. Okay. It was a lot of work, but I think it was worth it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Oh my goodness. I'm super happy with this. Okay, so there's our first of potentially four more braids. I hope you guys liked it. Um, and if you haven't done a braid from before, I hope I taught you something. I don't know. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye.